caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant that is mostly found in coffee, tea, soda, and energy drinks. It's a chemical that speeds up your brain and nervous system. Millions of people consume it every day, usually in the morning, to feel less tired. When you drink coffee or tea, the caffeine quickly enters your bloodstream and travels to your brain. Once it's there, it blocks a chemical called adenosine, which tells your brain when to feel tired. So caffeine doesn't actually give you more energy, it just hides your exhaustion. After 20 to 30 minutes, the effects reach their peak. You feel more focused and motivated, making it easier to get work done. The problem, once the effect wears off, you feel even more tired than you normally would. Since caffeine is addictive, your brain quickly gets used to it and you will tell you to consume even more of it. Since caffeine doesn't really make you high or drunk, it's socially acceptable to consume it. That doesn't mean that it's not addictive or potentially harmful though, just that it won't ruin your life. Nicotine Nicotine is a fast-acting stimulant, mostly found in cigarettes and vapes. It's nicotine that makes smoking so addictive, not the smoke itself. When you smoke or vape, the nicotine hits your brain within seconds, releasing a surge of dopamine, the chemical which makes you feel happy and calm. At first it feels great. Your body lets go of stress and you feel calm and at peace. This only lasts for a short time though. When the effect wears off, you quickly feel stressed again, making your brain crave more nicotine. And that's exactly what makes it so dangerous. Just like caffeine, once you're hooked, your brain needs nicotine just to feel normal again. Nicotine doesn't really make you high, and that's why it's socially acceptable to smoke or vape. In recent years, it has become less popular though, since inhaling the smoke is actually really unhealthy and can cause cancer. Alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant, meaning it slows down your brain and nervous system. It's consumed globally, most often at social gatherings like parties or sports games, in small amounts. It helps people loosen up and be more social. The real problem begins when people start drinking heavily and maybe even alone. Since alcohol is so normalized in our society, it gets easy to forget how harmful and addictive it really is. It heavily damages your liver and other organs and even leads to a higher risk of cancer. At the same time, it's very addictive and notoriously difficult to stay dry if you were an alcoholic in the past. With this combination of harm and addiction, it's no surprise that alcohol is responsible for about 3 million deaths every year globally. Cannabis Cannabis or weed is a psychoactive drug made from the marijuana plant. It's usually either smoked or eaten as an edible. The main active chemical is THC, and once it reaches your brain, the effect becomes noticeable quickly. Time slows down, you feel more aware, and everything seems kind of funny. When the high really hits you, the effects can vary a lot. Some people just want to chill, others get the urge to do something creative. If you're in a negative state of mind though, the THC can make your negative feelings seem more intense and even lead to confusion and paranoia. Weed creates a weird state of mind that feels dreamy and very focused at the same time. Many people report that things they usually enjoy, like their favorite food or music, are even better when they're high on weed. Cannabis is only mildly addictive, certainly a lot less than alcohol or most drugs. That doesn't mean it's entirely harmless, though. Heavy use has been linked to bad memory, lack of motivation and willpower, and even paranoid schizophrenia in extreme cases. Cocaine Cocaine is a powerful stimulant made from coca leaves. It's usually snorted as a white powder, but can also be smoked or injected. It enters your bloodstream, quickly reaches your brain, and floods it with dopamine. The effect is noticeable almost immediately. You get a rush of energy, your heart pounds, and you get an almost overwhelming feeling of euphoria. At the peak, you feel focused and more alive than ever. This only lasts a very short time though. After just a few minutes, your dopamine level crashes and you start feeling anxious and exhausted. You crave more just to feel normal again. Cocaine is highly addictive. Once you're hooked, it's tough to stop taking it. Over time, it damages your heart and organs. It also rewires your brain so fundamentally that being happy without it starts seeming impossible. MDMA. MDMA, also known as ecstasy or molly, is a synthetic stimulant and hallucinogen. It's usually swallowed as a pill or capsule at parties or clubs. 
The chemical floods your brain with serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin, the trio responsible for happiness and connection. When the effect hits you, warmth spreads through your entire body. Everything around you, from the music to the colors, seems more intense than usual. The flash of serotonin makes you feel happy and deeply connected to the people around you. After a few hours though, the high comes to an end and you start feeling empty and exhausted. Used too often, MDMA damages the neurons that release serotonin, making it harder to feel happy without it. LSD LSD is a hallucinogen, meaning it completely rewires how your brain perceives reality. It's usually taken on tiny papers placed on the tongue. When the effects hit, you will quickly start seeing the colors around you differently. At the peak, everything starts to bend and move in ways you never saw before. Your sense of self disappears, you feel connected to the universe and question everything. The come down tends to be rather gentle. Reality slowly becomes normal again. LSD isn't addictive, it can have a negative impact on your psyche though, especially if you were already not doing too well. Opioids Opioids are painkillers that traditionally come from the opium poppy, although they can also be made synthetically in labs. They are used medically as morphine and oxycodone. On the street, you will encounter them as heroin and fentanyl. They can be swallowed, smoked, snorted, or injected. When the chemical reaches your brain, it blocks your pain receptors and gives you a feeling of euphoria. You calm down and feel safe. It's not an energetic high, it's like sinking into a soft blanket. Your heartbeat and breathing slow down and you're almost unconscious. The come down is brutal though. You feel anxious, your body starts aching and you desperately want the next dose. Opioids are some of the most addictive substances in the world. Once you're hooked, the drug will destroy everything your health, your relationships, and ultimately your life. Psilocybin. Psilocybin, also known as magic mushrooms, is a hallucinogen found in certain types of fungi. It's usually eaten raw, brewed as tea, or ground into capsules. Once consumed, your body converts psilocybin into psilocin, which increases serotonin production. After about 30 minutes, the effects begin to become noticeable. Your senses sharpen and reality starts to change. Everything seems funny. Music feels alive. You're aware of your entire surroundings. At the peak, your perception of the world changes completely. Time stretches, colors look different, and you might feel a deep connection to nature. The come down is gentle. Your mind settles. The world slowly rebuilds itself around you. You feel grateful and at peace. Some people end up feeling confused and uncomfortable after the trip, though sometimes even days after. Psilocybin isn't really addictive, but it's very powerful. In the wrong setting, it can trigger panic or psychosis. All right, thanks for watching. I can make a part two. Do you have any ideas for that? Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. See you next time.